Good morning, class of 2020. This is Dr. Crespo. I'm here to give you instructions on what you need to expect when you come on your graduation day. You're gonna start off by driving in to the front bus loop. I will have as many cars as needed for that hour spot that you have for your graduation day. Once you arrive, we're gonna have a representative come up to the vehicle and ask who the student is you already have the health survey filled out. If you do not have the health survey filled out and printed, we will give you additional copies so the graduate and all of their guests need to fill out a health survey. If you have it, we're gonna collect it. We're gonna write down the name of the graduate that is here. We're trying to keep you as, as much of order that we have you on the list as possible. So we will have people checking each vehicle as they arrive to see which graduate is here check on the health surveys and checking on who is here for graduation. Once we verify which graduates are here for that graduation day, we will send five cars at a time to the end of the bus loop. end of the bus loop. You do not go on to Stallings yet. You will have an NISD police officer and staff member here that are going to hold you until we can verify that the other side that is ready for graduation ceremony will go ahead and move the next five cars. Once you are released, you will exit the bus loop and take a right onto Stallings. You will enter the parking lot over by Applebee's Sand. You will pass the band hall and you will park right next to the flagpole. The first five cars will go at a time. the flagpole area we will release one graduate and their guest at a time so we're going to start off with this first car that showed up we're going to have them come on out you'll have a NISD representative here to assist you and as you get out of the vehicle with your guest you'll start making your way to the auditorium Okay, so I know you left your vehicle out in the parking lot, but do not worry, we have representatives that will be watching vehicles while each graduate and their guest attend their graduation ceremony. Once you arrive to the auditorium, they're going to ask for your health survey and they're gonna check your temperature. There will also be hand sanitizer for you to enter the auditorium once you arrive. Once you arrive in the auditorium, you will have an usher that will escort your guests to the front middle section of the auditorium. They will also usher the graduate to the stage where they will wait for their name to be called. Graduates will walk over to this side and they will make their way to the corner stairs of the stage. will be ushered to the front middle part of the auditorium so they can be as close to the stage as possible so they can take pictures and celebrate their graduate. On 
on stage, you will give your index card to the speaker here at this podium. Name will be called and then you will walk across the stage passing the table that will be set in the middle of the stage. Pick up your diploma cover and then turn once you get to the end of the table for your professional picture. Melanie Tice. <laughs> Once you take your picture in the front of the stage, and I'll be in the background, you will then make your way to the end of the stage where there will be a photograph background, and that is when your family members and your guests will come up to the stage to take a group picture by the professional photographer. the group picture is done, you will then make your way to the exit of the auditorium. Once you exit the auditorium, the graduate and their guests must return to their vehicle and then leave so the next graduate can have their turn for their graduation ceremony. If you have not, seniors, if you have not painted your name on the S, once you exit the auditorium, you can give your cap and gown to your guests as they return to their vehicle, and then you can take a right heading towards the bus loop to paint your name on the S for the class of 20. So once you exit the auditorium and your guests have returned to their vehicle, the next graduate and their guest will make their way to the auditorium and follow these same procedures. Seniors, I hope this is a great time for you and your family. I understand that it is not the traditional graduation ceremony that you're used to, but we're doing everything possible to make this a memorable event for everybody. I can't wait to see everybody. I hope you make it out to your celebration day, which is on Wednesday. You also have the parade that's gonna be on Thursday next week. And then we will release the full recorded video of the full ceremony on our original graduation date, which is Friday, May 29th at 7 p.m. Thanks guys and go Dragons.